used to go and look for water. I remember we were in a distance of about about 100 kilometers away from here, looking for water. Our animals died from there, spread our diseases because we were grazing alongside these animals from uh, the animals from the national park. Huh? So we had a lot of challenges. Kananura Martin is my name. I'm a retired teacher. I retired in 2020 after serving for 37 years. And I now I'm now involved in farming because it's a passion with me. I look after livestock and crop. The biggest challenge our community has is lack of water because out of 12 months in the year we receive rain for only 5 months. The rest uh, is uh, a drought and people really face it hard. After retiring I decided to upgrade my farm and uh, being a teacher, I also had a vision of teaching especially people within my community. And when I reached uh, at home, I realized that there were challenges in the community and I wanted to tap those challenges and turn them into opportunities. First and foremost, Constructed dams, big dams, uh, because my area is a very good catchment area for water. So all the people around my area uh, took that advantage uh, to use that water for domestic use and for their animals. But later on, I realized that we should also have water uh, for development, especially uh, to do some agriculture. And uh, I also worked on irrigation. Uh, I have 10 acres uh, of the banana plantation with the irrigation system. When we go to Matoke, uh, we are looking at 200 bunches of bananas from up. Yeah. So and in terms of money, value. In terms of money, you can put it at minimum 10,000, so that is too many. Uh, maximum, because we supplied schools, 15,000, that is 3 million. One of these schools is the former school which I was heading, my former school, the Rural Municipal, it has 4,000 pupils. And another secondary school is in Tari, which has 2,000 students. Wow. So these are put together, 6,000 students. That's really good. Yeah. That's, that's we consume a lot of yeah. matoke. Yeah. Even now I'm still wondering, may I thought we were <laughs> on the ground, only to be told that there is water yeah. underground yeah. there, which we don't see. Hmm? Wow. Yeah. Mm. It's a miracle. <laughs> There is money which we pay 200,000 per, per pump I'm yet to pay. So I'm in line with the government policy. For example, I also have uh, National Water and Sewerage Corporation, which is, I would say, very expensive. Like at this home of mine, I pay like 150,000 per month. But the drilled water, which is supplied to four villages, I pay 200,000 for the whole year. Mm. Yeah. So. My farm is well 
situated such that I have two adjacent hills. So on top of each of those two hills, we have put a big tank, uh, 100,000 liters capacity. So we have those two, two tanks and uh, we have used those submersive solar pumps to pump water on those two hills. Four communities now are benefiting from this water, which we have drilled 200 feet underneath. We drill water on a very, very small area, but it's doing wonders uh, in my village. And I think this is one of the reasons why I was nominated as one of the best farmers in this country. Because I know there are very many farmers with very good cows, very good animals and but I don't think that anyone has done this uh, to the community. I would be the very first person to have done this in this country.